being myself, accepting myself If no one calling me beautiful, I said it myself Yeah, cause it is time that we should face this Doesn't matter if a man is but the two races He could rap both races to the fullest Haters saying otherwise, they evidently clueless I'm biracial and I'm proud you know, something that always baffles me is how black men are misogynistic and treat women and their women, but just women as a whole, the same way that white men do. And as we know, the patriarchy was originated by white supremacy and white men. And of course, it started during slavery, which is what I find ironic because during slavery, well, black men, you were treated as less than human to these white men who are on these podcasts preaching this misogynistic ideologies that they invented so basically all these white men that are on these podcasts speaking for men and spreading this misogynistic ideologies they see you as also less than human black man they see you just as marginalized and less than human the same way they see women so why the fuck are you trying to be at a party that you were not invited to so essentially kang's Y'all begging for scraps from a table that was never built for you. That was never set for you. And the really amusing thing about this is a lot of these so-called red pill ideologies, they come from the white manosphere. I mean, Kitten Hills Kevin Samuels quoted this man a lot. This is Jordan Peterson, known as the king of the incels, stole from his ideals of masculinity. Y'all thought... Kitten Hills shit was original? Kitten Hills just another DL fucking pookie. Behind on child support. Deadbeat father. Three times divorced. The ultimate fake it till you make it type of guy. And he studied the white manosphere, the incels, white male ideology, and applied that to the women in his community. Old Kitten Hills, like so many other kangs in the black community, want to be this they want to put black women on their plantation why do you think they talk about all this submissive stuff fit feminine and friendly crap they want docile submissive sex slaves they want their women to be their mules so they keep begging for crumbs from their white daddy's table hoping for that pat on the head for that nod of good boy from their masses that they try to emulate so much, that they want to copy and be like so much. The black manosphere is not original. It's white supremacist ideology that black males adopted and try to put their women under. The manosphere, the red pill ideology, the red pill rage, all that came from white supremacy and white men. And the fact that so many of these kings identify with it is extremely telling of their mindset. See, you feel because you're a man, you have some sort of privilege or power or sense of inclusion in this male supremacy patriarchy. Behind your back, these men are laughing at you and they don't respect you. No matter how much money you get, as we've seen by Kanye, you're still an N-word in a coop, as he said, when it all falls down, you're still black. They want to unalive you, they want to enslave you, they want to emasculate you, they're jealous of you. But you get involved in misogyny and the oppression of women and the abuse of women and the, you know, oppression Olympics and misogyny Olympics because you want to have a false sense of power and occlusion after being oppressed. And you would think it would be the other way around that as a black man who is also just as marginalized as women are in society by these men, that you would have some sort of more empathy and compassion for women than other men you would think black men would have more empathy and compassion for women than almost any other group of men because of the oppression and trauma that black men have endured as being a marginalized group but you just want to be a part of this patriarchy and this false sense of inclusion and this false sense of power and this little bit of power that you get that boosts your ego by oppressing women and being able to have power over women's lives and it's funny you're just a pawn in their game for them to execute this ideology and really put it out there you guys are just bodies soldiers and votes that they need they're manipulating you you're literally following white supremacist values disguised as misogyny and pro-men. And you don't even realize you're like Cheddar Bob and 8 Miles shooting yourself in the foot.
these same men that you idolize and watch and get these ideologies from don't see you as a human. They see you as three-fourths of a human. They were the same ones who gaslighted black people into doing slavery by saying, oh, a black man is worth 10 Native Americans, which was just gaslighting to extort black men to work harder and treat them like shit. This is your preference, telling you exactly what the men of her society thinks of you. This is y'all in real life. Y'all are wannabe white supremacists in blackface. And all you're really doing is making yourself look like a fool and weak. You're being willing pawns of white supremacy. You are willingly doing the work of a system you say you hate. You are doing the work of the white man against your own women. But y'all are too fucking dumb to see it. I wanted to close out with this clip, but I couldn't find it. Malcolm X was doing an interview. And there was a, a Kang Uncle Ruckus doctor on there who was arguing against Brother Malcolm. And Brother Malcolm said to him, what do they call a black man with a PhD? An N-word is what they call him. And y'all think you're any different. No matter how much work you put in for that system, no matter how much you degrade and disparage your own women, no matter how much you terrorize, bash, destroy, unalive your own women for them, because that's exactly what y'all doing in the eyes of those white men that you all want to emulate so bad. You're still just a king to them. And I disagree with that woman on a couple points. Black women are the most oppressed. Hence why they're the most targeted. They're the greatest threat. They are the mothers of black culture. They pass on black culture culture. They give birth to blackness. Hence why white supremacy, aka the manosphere, gladly enlisted a whole bunch of kings who were just salvating at their fucking mouth to sell out and destroy their own women. Yo, I'm going there on this one. I'm going there and this one's not going to be on TikTok because they're definitely banned this shit. But I'm speaking the 100% God's truth. Just look at it. The manosphere was started by white men. It's an extension of white patriarchy, which in itself is white supremacy, white male supremacy. And it's crazy that you canes are working for and funding and participating in the very system that is shooting you down like dogs in the fucking streets. Y'all are financing your own oppression. You're pushing your own oppression. By pushing this red pill ideology, by pushing this manosphere ideology, by pushing white patriarchy under the false illusion, the false pretense that it somehow benefits you. Oh, I say it, I say it again. You've been had. You've been took. You've been hoodwinked. Bamboozled. Let us spread. I'm going to use an old spy term. I saw this in a movie, but I think it, uh, it fits here. They call people that they use useful idiots. And that's what you kings are. Useful idiots to the manosphere, to the system they created, to the patriarchy. You're useful idiots. I have so many unanswered questions